saw this um, San Jose State team uh, on film uh, at St. Mary's Battledale to literally a three or four point game at the half. And they, they hung in the game with them for about 27, 28 minutes before St. Mary's went on a spurt. Uh, I knew how well coached they were. They're a very well coached team. And I thought their composure uh, coming in here, even though the, the building was empty, there wasn't was a lot of energy in the building. I thought they showed great composure uh, to come in and hit big shots, uh, hit big threes. And what they really did is just pounded us on the glass. And that's because they had great energy. I felt like their energy was a little bit more, I don't want to say more contagious uh, than certainly the energy we generated, and it cost us a game here. But they played extremely well, and they have been playing well because, again, on tape, they've looked really good. And that was a really good St. Mary's team, by the way, too, so don't think this is a, a bad team coming there. We didn't contribute and do our part, what we needed to get done, but they played pretty smart, and they're very well coached. Is there anything you can think to do to increase their energy, any big changes you can make? Well, you're at a, you're a tough time of year. We don't want to make any excuses. You know, sitting there over, over Thanksgiving and then having to play a game and, and, and it was really flat in the building, but that's okay. You still have an opponent there that you have to play. So we just talked about that in our locker room that uh, this team uh, needs to get back to that energy level it played with uh, in Italy, uh, even against Montana where we rallied uh, because of what Coach Allen went through, and we just played a different level. We have that sense of, of urgency, passion, uh, whatever you want to call it. So if it's shaking up a lineup, put more energy out there, I, I really uh, feel bad for Beyonce Daniels because he took a tough hit. I thought he had energy in the game. I thought he was playing great for us. But we got to figure out a way uh, to create more. Just again, we got a tough stretch of home games, very important home games for a get on the road to K-State, and just got to get back to playing our kind of basketball. We're not there right now. And that's just really, and I, it's not X's and O's. It, it really is a sense of togetherness and, and energy and bonding and passion and all of those things. I assume you made some of those points at halftime as well. Was it t tough to see them still come out of the second half and be the aggressor? You know, um, it, it is tough. And, and yet at the same time, um, I expect more out of certain guys on this team that have been around here for longer and was with, here with us last year. And to see them come out of locker room flat, and they tried to get going and got back into the game a little bit. And then mistake, 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 mistake. The biggest mistakes came on the offensive glass, where we had uh, did a terrible job, I thought, of remembering defensive assignments and blocking people off and, and continuing to let teams pound us on the board. Uh, we're small at times on the floor, but at the same time, there's no excuse uh, for not keeping guys off the glass. When you don't block them out, they're going to go rebound the ball. What was the message in that last time out when they were uh, they had that sizable lead and only a few minutes left? What were you telling the guys? Well, at that point in time, the game, we're just trying to extend the game a little bit. We, we had to get in into the bonus. So that's where you saw the fouls because we're nowhere near uh, getting them to shoot free throws yet. And then late in the game, it was more just about uh, still coaching through the game and kind of what you need to do. So if you're in a game where it's only – uh, a one-point league or one-point game on the road, you know, minute and a half to go, you still understand things that you need to do and things of that nature. So we just tried to remind them of assignments and things like that and shoot the ball and just some coaching things. I figured they weren't playing at a great level, so I'm going to continue to work on my game strategy and game coaching so when we get into those situations where they're playing a little bit better, we can do a little bit better. Because uh, Hawkinson and Flynn taking a lot of shots, not a lot landing. Anything? I, I, I told them, and I don't. This is not about a stat sheet. And as I told them, uh, I'd be disappointed if they picked up a stat sheet. This has nothing to do with the stat sheet. Uh, this has to do with uh, raw emotion of being here, nobody around, not a lot of injury on campus. So what? Come together, let's play. There's games played. There's teams that are traveling on the road over the holidays. They're here. They're on your court. We got to go play. So it's really not about taking a lot of shots stat sheets. We have to hunt some shots down the stretch when we were down, where it has to do more about uh, energy, drive, passion, all those types of things. Any more questions? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks,